In this episode of the Capable Cruising Guide, Clark shows us how to fold a sail. Let's fold this one up as our example. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's make your sail get smaller. Make my sail get smaller. <laughs> All right. Put your knee there. Put your other knee there and pull this up. Okay. Pull this uh, all the bag out of here. Now the whole trick, this is a relatively small sail, so it's easy, but you learn how to do it right on a sail this size. And when you get to a great big boat with a 25, 30 foot foot well, and your weight on there and you barely hear each other, you can do it right. So we grab this distance up, we pull and make a fold right in the air, and then we fold it over. Whoever's the leader calls the shots for the timing. So grab it, you, oh, step forward with your knees. Grab it, fold it in the air, and then fold it over. Okay. Step forward. Fold it in the air, fold it over. Eventually. You don't have to step. Yeah. I say that, and look at that one, took twice as long. Okay, now. If we had the sheets on it, they would be here. These are the ropes. Right. And, and we co go first. coil them up, put them right on top of the sail, mm -hmm. and then we're going to fold the sail like this in pieces. Probably on a heavy sail, I wouldn't drag it, but this is so light it can't really hurt itself. Now, why I did it very specific this way is important. Next time, oh, well, let's finish it up. Fold it, put it in the bag. Now, when we arrive at the boat, so when we arrive at the boat next time, we put it out of the bag, lay it on deck, just like this. First thing we do, wind's blowing, doesn't matter. We got control of this. We uh, connect the tack. Connect the tack. And then we unroll this part, at least a ways, and then we can take a hank and put on. Put a hank on. Okay. And keep rolling and putting hanks on. So the sail, as we could expose it to the wind, is being attached Contained. to the boat. Yeah. And we have control of it right till the end, and then it, then we <laughs> push it back down and do whatever else we have to do. And then when we're ready to raise it, of course we have the sheets all run, we just pull on the rope and it goes whoop, up in the air, nice. and there we go. So there is a right way. Now, you had a question before when you saw me folding it, and I didn't roll it. Yeah, well, so I was wondering why not roll it. Well, the racers do roll it. Okay. Because what I just did is put a whole bunch of creases in this. That's why I was concerned. Yeah. Well, the creases are going to make it less aerodynamically smooth. Right. And it's going to slow the boat down. So why don't I care? Well, first off, this isn't a brand new sharp sail. So it won't hold a crease as well. It's softer because it's old. Second off, rolling it is a royal pain in the butt. No. It, it takes 10 times longer. You have to make sure every, if you're going to do it, you got to make sure every wrinkle is out. Right. And you roll and you back it up and you get it straight and you roll it and then you can be halfway up and it's going the wrong way. Yep. So you have to undo it all and change the angle a little bit and do it. This is so much easier. Oh, and yeah. when you roll it, you have to unroll it and you don't have control. Where this approach, you control, got control. You have control. You can undo it and hook yeah. it on in 20 knots of wind, no problem. Good. That's why I do it that way. That's why everybody does that this way. I've been doing it this way for, what, 35 some years. I guess I bought my first boat when I was 25. Of course, I taught sailing before that. I don't know. I've been doing it forever. This is, that's the way I do it. And that's the why I do it. All right. There you go. Why don't you two do the mainsail? Same thing. Okay. I'm going to put that in the properly marked bag. Right. I'll get the tack. over my knees. Okay, let's just stop for just a second because you saw something of interest. If it starts going the wrong way, you can turn this rectangle you're folding into a bit of a trapezoid, I guess yeah, it would be. Change. So you have him take a bigger bite. 
Yeah. And that'll kind of move it this way, yeah. and uh, it'll, you can control the drift without having yeah. to start over. Also with mains, very good. It worked out perfectly. It's important to keep all the battens kind of going this way so you can fold it up yeah. later on. Oh yeah. No need to remove those, huh? Depends. In, in this case, I don't think so. Um, Temptress has 20 foot long full battens. Yeah, definitely. But I don't think you're gonna need to. Okay, so we roll from this end. But just be careful when you're doing the flakes that you're not trying to bend a batten. There you go. So you're gonna flop it now? Can you get between buttons? I mean, I might be wrong. I might not be able to do this one. In which case, we just cut the video. That would have mattered um, with the direction, like you're saying, was in control the fold. Oh, it looks like he's got it. Sail. And then we do the final folds. We'll do them the other way. So this yep. have to be you got it. Bigger, so. That'll be just fine. Okay. And then do the final folds this way. That'll fit in the bag. Yep. Bag it. <laughs> he, he thinks I know what I'm talking about, and he keeps saying, uh... I think I'm a little too wide. Well, your knees spread further apart than mine do there. Uh, you good? Yep. This one you've chosen to pull the battens out first, and then you've just fold the battens right into the sail. And then you can do anything with it. Oh, no, not at the end. At the end. Oh, okay. Just like when you would put the Genoa sheets in. Already, yeah. yeah, that's why I, I said it in a uh, chosen way. <laughs> I am the chosen. That's like a piece of nylon, isn't it, at that point? Yeah. Okay. And let me think. The clue is folded first. That's the clue? Yeah. Oh, was it on my hand? I thought you had it. Trying to stay. This uh, sail was on a different kind of, you use, you use a bolt rope and a slot. This one had slides lashed onto all those points. They're kind of like the Hanks, but they go on a track on the sail, main, um, on, on the mast. So th this definitely doesn't belong to this boat. So that's another one. You can do anything you want with that cloth, except sail with it. Anybody uh, buy these? Yeah, you take them to these consignment places and they hold on them for like 40 years and they never sell. Can you just go donate them to the uh, Club? Yeah, if anybody wants. You guys are so good at this. All right, this should be the clue. That's the cool. roll. Yep. Good instructor, that's all. <laughs> That's how it's done, it's pretty easy.